Hello everyone, welcome to the presentation about new product. It's called Desa Triage. For you to better understand a new product, we have prepared a scenario for you. It's called Randomware. So on the left, you can see a list of the activities done by the hacker. And on the right, I'm going to play a video to show you how the hacker has done it. So now he has logged into Victim's desktop through RDP connection. After that, he immediately turned off the Windows dependencies one by one. Now he needs to check which data he needs to steal. So he opened the data and to check whether it's a content he wanted. After confirming the data, he signed in his Gmail account. After entering the account name and password, he has accidentally saved both of them, and he composed a new email. Which is entitled a confidential doc, and then he attached the important data to it, and sent it away. After that, he went to the Google Drive and downloaded the ransomware. After the download is finished, he log out his account and remove it. To execute the ransomware, he went to the download file and extract the files from the zip file. So we can see the hacker try to execute the program. However, there seemed to be some issue with it, so he needed to fix it. To fix the problem, he went to the file system 32 to correct the DLL shown on the message, on the error message. After correcting it, he re-executed the program again. So now we have seen that the desktop has been changed to the ransomware one. So he succeeded and ended the RDB connection. Now we use our product desktop to, to, to do the investigation. So you can choose the OCR language. Now we have a new case here. To do the preliminary investigation, we use all device collection. For all device collection, we include around 30 volatile and non-volatile artifacts. So for the wall collection process, it will take about five to eight minutes. To understand the sequence of events, we use timeline analysis. And we can specify the date, the time as well, and then start our investigation. So the wall investigation will take about 15 to 20 minutes. To save our time, I have created a few slides for you to understand how we do the investigation use that triage to investigate. So for the investigation, it will be the flashback method. So around 1037, from the artifact event security, and if I did 4634, we can see the lab on type 3, which means that is a remote connection. And then before that, there is a kind of running execution of the program. It's called change desktop, which is quite suspicious. And then we have seeing the artifact event system 26, which shows that 
the kind of execution of the change desktop, the ransomware has failed, and there are some kind of issues need to be fixed. The files are extracted from the ransomware file, so you can use the artifact shellbacks to determine what's the action of the hacker. And the artifact droplets has shown that the ransomware file has been opened. Before opening the ransomware file, we can see there is a kind of artifact which is a Chrome history. So all the activities done by the Chrome can be logged in a kind of artifact called Chrome history. The ransomware file has been downloaded, so we now check the artifact Chrome file. So to continue, we also can see the head to Google Drive activity from the artifact Chrome history again. Because we know that our important data called the custom list has been stolen, has been touched for numerous times, now we can see there's a jump list. So from the jump list, we can see this kind of data is attached or has been moved to some places. So before that, from the Chrome history, you can see an email is composed. And then we can now see the kind of a hackers user value, user value, which means it is Gmail account and the password itself from the artifact from logging. Also from Chrome history, we know the hacker has logged into the Gmail account. And before that, he has opened the Chrome itself, so it's from the artifact prefetch. So before coming to the Chrome and coming to the Gmail, he has checked which is the important data he needs to steal. So from the artifact droplets, we can see the kind of a custom only internal use only data has been touched. Before checking the important data, he has turned off the Microsoft Defender. For that, we check the artifact event application. So on the bottom bar, you can see a sentence, security product stays news, which means that the Microsoft Defender has been turned off. So for the very first beginning of the crime itself, we can see there's an RDP connection. So as RDP logout, we check the same RDP, it's called event security. But right now we have to check a different event ID, it's called 4624. There are also two things to, to check. One is the lock on type. So lock on type is three, which means remote connection. This corresponds to the 4634 RDP logout as well. And the other thing we can know from this artifact is that the IP address of the hacker. So overall, this is the whole process of the investigation itself. So this is a table to show you the kind of investigation event flashback of the hacker. And on the right is the artifact reference done by our new product desktop triage. So you can see for the whole investigation, it takes only about 10 to 15 minutes compared to traditional Windows digital forensic product, which will take about a few hours. This is super efficient and very easy to use. So this is the end of the demonstration of our new product, Desert Triage, and I hope we can help you in a future investigation.